Hello friends, this is our 10th video lecture and it will be about AS23 borrowing costs. Borrowing costs are the costs associated with borrowing money to finance the construction of the asset. Key rule of AS23. IAS 23 borrowing costs requires borrowing costs to be capitalized. BC refers here to borrowing costs. Uh, borrowing costs are included in the book value of an asset if they are directly attributable to the acquisition, construction or production of a qualifying asset. What is qualifying asset? A qualifying asset is an asset that takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use. Assets, which are able to meet the definition of a qualifying asset, may include manufacturing plants, power generation facilities, investment properties, intangible assets, bare plants, or that's those plants which are expected to bear fruit, fruits for more than one period. Inventory items, but only if such inventory items meet the definition of a qualifying asset. Companies are not required to capitalize borrowing costs in relation to those items of inventory which are manufactured routinely or produced in large quantities on a repetitive basis. Keep in mind, if an asset is ready for its intended use or sale at the time when it is acquired, it will not be a qualifying asset under IAS 23, and hence there is no opportunity to capitalize borrowing costs, the costs in such case. Borrowing costs are represented by interest and other costs incurred by an entity in connection with borrowing of funds and include interest expenses, finance charges in respect of finance lease, exchange differences arising on borrowing in foreign currencies in the amount they have an influence on interest costs. Borrowing costs are eligible for capitalization if they are directly attributable to the acquisition, construction or production of a qualifying asset. When funds are borrowed specifically to obtain a qualifying asset, uh, or a company may finance the acquisition or construction of a qualifying asset using funds which have been borrowed for a general purposes. In the second situation, uh, average uh, weighted average rate must be applied. IAS 23 states that borrowing costs should be capitalized using a capitalization rate. This rate is applied to the expenditure on the qualifying asset incurred during a given period. Capitalization rate is a rate that reflects the weighted average of the borrowing costs applicable to the borrowings of the company that are outstanding during the period, other than borrowings made for specific purposes. IAS 23 requires that capitalization of borrowing costs should commence when expenditures for the asset are incurred, borrowing costs are incurred, activities that are necessary to prepare the asset for its intended use or sale are in progress. Capitalization will need to be stopped during periods in which active construction or preparation of the asset is interrupted. If there, there are periods of genuine interruption, for example, lack of funding, capitalization will need to be stopped and any borrowing costs incurred during periods of such inactivity will have to be expensed as incurred. 
In case of uh, temporary interruptions, for example, due to adverse weather conditions, usually there is no need to stop capitalization. The capitalization of borrowing costs must be ceased when the activities necessary to prepare the qualifying asset for its intended use or sale are complete. So, let's look at uh, several examples. We have our company Fluffy Kitten. Fluffy Kitten started to build new warehouse on 1st February, February 2017. This construction was funded by a 15 million loan with an interest rate of 5% during July construction was stopped. We need to calculate the amount of interest which must be capitalized as at 31st December 2017. So, warehouse uh, is a qualifying asset because uh, as you remember, qualifying asset is an asset that takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use. And sorry, and uh, in our case here, warehouse building was uh, st st construction was started on 1st February 2017, and as at 31st December. It is still in progress, and also we know that um, uh, specific loan spe was uh, was obtained specifically to finance the construction of the warehouse in the amount of fifteen million dollars. So, and it is a five percent loan. Uh, first of all, we need to calculate the number of months for capitalization. We have a period from 1st February till 31st December, that is 11 months period. However, there was no construction in July, so that's a period of inactivity in July. So in total we have 11 months minus 1 month of inactivity, which gives us 10 months. So we need to capitalize interest for a 10 months period. Second step, we need to calculate the interest for capitalization. As you can see in this specific uh, case, um, 15 million loan was taken uh, just to finance the construction of a new warehouse. Hence, we need just to use the interest rate for a 15 million loan. We have 15 million dollars loan multiplied by 5% and adjust to, to 10 months period. So we need also to multiply by 10 months and divide it by 12 months. And we have an amount for capitalization in the uh, uh, in the amount of $6,2500. So let's look at another example. In this case, company Fuff Funny Puppy started to build new warehouse on April 2017. Funny Puppy has two loans, 7% bank loan in the amount of 10 million and 10% bank loan in the amount of 5 million. Funny Puppy used 3 million dollars of existing loans on 1st April 2017 and also $4 million were used on 1st August 2017. So, as you can see, there was uh, uh, no specific loan taken, in this case, just to finance a new warehouse, and Funny Puppy used uh, money of existing loans, 7% of 10 million and 10% 10, 10 bank loan in the amount of 5 million. Also, we can see that uh, f first three million dollars were used as at first April 2017, and uh, four million then were used on first August 2017. So basically, we have two periods for capitalization here. So, 
First of all, we need to calculate weighted average interest rate in this case, or capitalization rate. So, first of all, we need to calculate the interest uh, expense for the first loan for the whole year. It will be 10 million dollars multiplied by 7%. It gives us uh, 700,000 dollars. And then, the same situation for 5 million dollar, dollar loan. We multiply it by 10% uh, and it gives us 500,000 dollars. And total interest will be 1 million 200,000 dollars. So now we can calculate weighted average interest uh, rate by dividing our total interest expense on total loans. Here we have uh, 15 million. Yes, it gives us 15 million first loan plus second loan. We have 15 million here. And we have our total interest of 1.2 million. And it gives us, if we divide our total interest on total loans, it gives us approximately 8% um, rate. So, second step, we need to calculate the interest for capitalization. Uh, firstly, we calculate it for the amount of 3 million which uh, wa was used on 1st April 2017. So, uh, 1st April 2017 till 31st December 2017, that's basically a 9 months period and uh, there was no periods of inactivity, so we can take whole 9 months. So we take our 3 million, multiply them by uh, our 8% capitalization rate, and uh, adjust it for uh, 9 months period. So we need to multiply by 9 and divide by 12 months. And we have our $180,000. Or 0 0.18 million. And the same situation will be uh, for uh, the second uh, amount. It was used on 1st August for million. We used on 1st August 2017. So from 1st August 2017 till 31st December 2017, it gives us basically a 5, mo five months period. So we take our 4 million multiply them by 8% and adjust uh, this amount uh, to a 5 months period. So we take and multiply by 5 months and divide by 12 months and we have our $130,000 or $0.13 million. So interest for capitalization will be first one 0 0.18 million plus 0 0.13 million and it gives us 0 0.31 million dollars. So, it is uh, the end of our lecture number 10. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye!